bewege mich. Kinjal Shah, herzlichen Glückwunsch an meiner Stelle. Kinjal Shah from India is one of the youngest world champions in mental arithmetic. In second place, Max Weber from Germany. 145 times 145? Easy. I know 144 times 144 is 20,736. So I just have to double the square root of 20,736, then add one. Then I add the result to 144 squared, and that gives me 145 times 145, and that's 21,025. And that's easy? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Quick fire mental arithmetic. Is it a talent or a trick? Do you need a brilliant mind or simply a good teacher? For this maths genius, the answer is clear. You need a bit of both. But, he says, it's much more than just a numbers game. What goes on in my mind is more than plain calculations. There are also emotions that are sometimes pleasant and sometimes unpleasant. For instance, if I don't feel comfortable when I'm performing, then my arithmetic performance suffers, unlike when I'm at ease. Human beings are much more complex than pocket calculators. Andreas is another mathematician who solves mind-boggling maths problems on stage. Here, he's multiplying two five-digit numbers. And if I haven't miscalculated, that should be the right answer. What goes through your mind when you're doing rapid calculations? A whole lot of numbers mix and mingle and arrange themselves in the right order. At the Max Planck Institute for Human Cognitive and Brain Sciences, Roland Friedrich is trying to establish whether excelling in arithmetic is linked to a person's genes or brain. Using a special brain scanner, he takes a glimpse behind the scenes at test subjects to see what happens during mental arithmetic calculations. The test subjects are given mathematical problems to solve while he observes brain activity. Friedrich found to his surprise that brain activity is similar in maths whizzes and less gifted people. Maths geniuses are simply able to solve problems more quickly and in a more automated way. But the brain function is essentially the same. Another finding, the brain doesn't have a single area responsible for calculation. Instead, a number of regions are used during mental arithmetic, regions that are also used to perform other tasks. There is no single gene that determines math ability. There are probably combinations of genes that influence certain things, such as the plasticity of the brain. In other words, how the brain responds to mental training. Those good at math are certainly more developed at that point, and that's genetically determined. But it'd have to affect a number of regions. So you don't need special genes or a super brain to become a human calculator. The most important thing you can have is a passion for mathematics as a child.